Hello and welcome to my loft. And today's video is on scenery, tunnels and hills especially. And you can see the difficulties that I have because I have a tight corner, third radius, which I have to get round because of the rafters. And third radius just looks silly. So you can see I've built hills in the corners. So the train goes in one end, comes out the other end, and doesn't look too bad. Obviously, if I could have a broad corner, I would do so, but that's just not always possible. All these hills have been designed so that you can lift them up in case of derailment. And you can see here uh, my new canal going in. Bit by bit. And here is a tunnel I built. And this is what my canal is going to be like. Again, another steep corner because I have to go around the rafters. And you can see I've, uh, my controller's on the floor. So I built a hill. Now this is a peculiar looking lump and it has a purpose of course. And there you go. This hill was built by my children when they were much younger and it has a purpose of course the whole hill can be lifted to give me access to the water pipes beneath this one is built out of polystyrene you can see the hills on the right again it's just because i'm stuck by rafters and beneath the hills are all the rafters Again, in a corner, you have a bit of dead space. Build a hill, put some animals on. Again, in this village, you can see uh, the tunnel actually would normally go through the houses and the whole thing can be taken apart to allow access to the removal of a derailed train. The mirrors are a nice effect, makes the whole loft look a lot larger. Interesting story, uh, my father gave me the two pylons and when he came to see me the next time, he was amazed that I had four. Of course, he was looking in the mirror. Again, more controllers on the floor because I have nowhere else to put them hidden slightly with the uh, scenery. I had inquired about trying to remove these rafters, far too expensive, wife, wife was never going to permit me, but it makes it look a little nicer than having bare wood beams. The green wood is important because I need access when things happen and derailments occur. On the side, as you can see, that's where the loft insulation is. I am going to run uh, the, this video, part of the video, that you can see all ten trains going round. And it takes about two and a half minutes because the freight is moving at a scale speed of only 40 miles an hour.
all the trains are running on automatic, so the mallard has just stopped at the signal, which is at red, if you look ahead, changes to green, and off she goes. Anyway, I really appreciate if you can like the videos. It just helps the video to be spread further. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you another day. Bye.